Many of us remember Gartner predicting in 2019 that 80% of all traffic would be encrypted. Zscaler last fall reported that 80% of all attacks now use encrypted channels. So now we have to ask ourselves some very important questions. Is that a hair gel? Or is it phenylacetic acid? We should be asking the question, what's the inexpensive way to examine north and south, east and west encrypted traffic in our environment? Cisco's secret sauce in the past has been to use the latest version of NetFlow with the latest hardware. Map to the initial data packet, the sequence of packet lengths, or the unencrypted portion of the traffic, and then we map it to the threat intelligence landscape to determine if that traffic is malicious or not. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This isn't impossible, and we have also extended this to the Cisco Meraki product lines as well. So ETA is definitely an easier solution to do with our router and switch and wireless environment. Now let's look at an easier way to do this with our firewalls. Cisco and Firepower 7.1 with Snort 3 started experimenting with something called EVE, Encrypted Visibility Engine. EVE has the capability, without having to decrypt the traffic, to examine an encrypted session, make a determination to identify the client that kicked off the process, determine an operating system, and can tell if the process contains malware or not. I know what you're thinking. How much does something like this cost? One million dollars. It's three ninety nine if you have a threat subscription license. And you will respect my authority. So this isn't rocket science to set up. It's not as difficult as you may think. So let's examine it, walk through a couple of things, and you can see how simple it is. So let's get started looking at a typical access control policy Break in the FMC. Make some bangs. Through the access control policy, you're going to go to that advanced tab. And once you get to the advanced tab, you're going to scroll down to where you see encrypted visibility engine. And all you have to do, slide it over and then enable it. With Eve being enabled, I can now take some sort of action on a rule in my access control policy based upon the encryption being tagged in that session. After I click on the application tab, then I go to the application filter and I look for the tag for encrypted visibility engine. And here you will see the processes that are mapped to applications that are or can be encrypted. So now you can complete the rule and determine if you want to block, allow, block or the reset for that particular action on that particular encrypted traffic. Let's go to overview and to the dashboard and the summary dashboard and let's look at the totality of encrypted traffic that's in our environment. From the summary dashboard, you're gonna to navigate to the switch dashboard. Then you will see application statistics, navigate there and then to encrypted visibility engine. Now you can see the connections based on the process name and the confidence level of the identified threat. 
Let's go to Unified Events through the Analysis tab and look at the encrypted traffic through the box that we can actually filter on. Continue. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? When I get to the Unified Events view, I want to filter out anything that we don't know 100% what the process is based upon the application that called that process. In addition to, I don't want to see anything that's Chrome related from an encryption perspective. So I'm going to filter those things out. As we make a selection on one of the entries, we're able to see the telemetry data for one of the encrypted sessions. Now I want to look at the encrypted traffic that we have classified as malware and look at the telemetry data of it. Damn! I'm able to see the confidence score mapped to the visibility process that is classified as malware. EVE is simple and straightforward, not as complicated as you may have thought. If you want additional information on Cisco's encrypted visibility engine, reach out to your Cisco account for app. That's all, folks.